well, why is health so important anyway? Now, you may already know and have decided that, but I just want to help put that in perspective for you. So first of all, many people die prematurely of diseases that are reversible or preventable, and I'm going to list some of them. And at least 50% of cancer deaths are preventable. 90% of type 2 diabetes and prediabetes uh, are both preventable and reversible. 80% uh, of strokes are preventable. So there's a whole lot of diseases that we read about that are killing many people and ma making people's lives really pretty difficult that in most cases can be prevented or reversed by being healthy. And the message there is our bodies can heal if we know how to help our bodies heal. And there are important lessons we're going to share with you so you can learn healthy habits, habits of healthy nutrition, habits of healthy weight loss, how to maintain a healthy weight for the rest of your life, habits of healthy sleep, because sleep is so important in terms of maintaining our health, actually far more important than you may realize. Habits of healthy movement, and that doesn't re mean we have to run marathons or do really difficult things. Habits of mindfulness and awareness, so we can be fully present. And when something upsets us or is stressful, we can put ourselves in a powerful position to deal with that stress in a way that doesn't stress us. Stress is one of the leading causes of mental, physical, and emotional problems and poor health in America today, as you probably know. Our healthcare system is really a sick care system. I think we all know that. Doctors don't know much about creating health, and that's not because they're bad people. It's that that's not what they do. The fact is the sick care system is the third leading cause of death in the United States today. We actually take significant risks uh, being sick, taking medications, going into hospitals. There's a whole lot of bad things that can happen. Now, there's a lot of good that can happen, too. But the fact is, there are a lot of uh, errors made and mistakes and confusion and reactions to drugs, of course. Um, so it's not a pretty picture. It's much better to be healthy. The other thing you may not know of is the leading cause of bankruptcy in America today is medical bills. And they're not getting any less for most people. Uh, so being healthy has a whole lot of advantages. The most important advantage is we can have fun and enjoy ourselves and enjoy our family and our grandkids and do the things we want and not have to worry about medications and pills and side effects and surgery and seeing one doctor and then another doctor. And let's get rid of this notion that chronic disease is like a stamp on your head that you can't get rid of because most diseases only become chronic because we don't deal with the root causes. And the antidote to sickness is health. And our goal is to get America healthy so you can get as healthy as you want to be as well. Health is the most precious gift we can give someone. Mm -hmm.